Overwatch 2. I absolutely adore it. I know, controversial, but I do, and I play it a lot. However, I'm not great at Overwatch. I'd love to say I am, but frankly, well, you can probably see the problem. But for those who don't know, this is the highest ranking competitive Overwatch. This is the lowest. We're here, plat, and each of these sections also has 1 to 5 within them, to which I'm currently plat free. And along with this, I'm a tank player, which season 9 is, well, not great for, but I want to improve in rank this season. We do have some things going for us here. One, I'm not a huge competitive player, forgive my sins, which means that putting more time and effort into it might provide better results in previous seasons just because I'm playing it more. More chances, more time into it. Two, I want to improve, which sounds obvious. Of course you want to improve. But while fun's my first priority when playing Overwatch, always, I intend to put full effort into actually improving myself this season, which I haven't done previous seasons beyond just, you know, the occasional video learning about my hero or something along those lines. And lastly, <laughs> the biggest advantage I have is I'm not alone. Overwatch 2 is frankly rough alone. It's less fun and well, I know I'm there too, but player players are sometimes questionable. So having people to rely on that I can trust is incredibly relieving and nice. So me and my friends just gotta go in, play some Overwatch competitive, progress and escape the rank of plat. Should be easy. Make a quick video. Wrong. I was wrong. Well, I'll be honest. I didn't expect just to zoom up in rank. I said that for dramatic flair. But I expected some level of progress. But over like three days of time and it just... It was just back and forth. We barely, if at all, made progress. You just went to lose two, win three, lose one, but it was a reversal. So boom, you didn't make any progress again and... You've got to play New Queen Street for the fourth time. But I wasn't that bothered. Losing doesn't typically bother me, and it was very early into my attempt to do this. But I knew something needed to change. I know I'm not the best, and I know that I can't pretend that teammates are winning my games. I mean, most of my competent friends, and Bulika567 on Soldier76 isn't logically all my issues in life. Though it might be a few. So I went back to the beginning. The fundamentals. What the hell even is Omberwatch? Excuse me, yapping for a minute. I went back to a channel I've relied on time and time again for the answer, and I refreshed myself. Coach Speed though. Very good educational Overwatch YouTuber, and previous coach to an Overwatch League team, London Spitfire. Along with being competitively evolved even now. Speedo explains Overwatch as a map-based objective game. Obviously, Overwatch has many, many heroes and abilities and is generally very complicated, but at its base, the map and objective are what really matters, and using the heroes and abilities to gain an advantage using the map to complete the objective is the final goal. A lot of words. The question is, how do I do that? How do I get the objectives more consistently? I mean, the biggest question is, how do I get better? Speedo splits this into four sections as well, which, if you want information on, I heavily suggest you check this video out, along with the rest of these videos. They're great, but I'll give the TLDR to go over what I learned at the time. Plan, timing, positioning, and mechanics make up the ability to gain advantages and complete objectives. Plan is your ability to understand how to use your abilities, your competition, your opponent's abilities in composition to your advantage, to set up the best situation to win a fight. Timing is your ability to time engagements and your plan and synchronize pressure. Basically, working to attack the same target or at the same time as teammates, along with listening and looking out for certain cooldowns and abilities. Like this. Oh. What's that? Right, 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 right. More no fade. Uh, two of them are up top. We need to try and get them off top of them. Oh, 
Carry it, carry it up top right. She's low. One, one, one. To the left. I'm getting jumped. Oh, I mean, Moreno fade. Oh, I need help. Moreno fade going around the back. Positioning is your ability to understand the map, such as using high ground, cover, and sight lines to control space. Incredibly important for tanks, specifically. And use this to reduce the amount of resources you need to use in a fight to approach your position. Basically, use your position to maximize value and minimize risk and resources used. Lastly, mechanics, which is your ability to understand and use all your abilities and heroes at your disposal in matchups to win. Your understanding of the hero you're playing. That was a lot of words, but once again, Speedo explains this much better and a lot more in depth. I just want to give you the general gist of it to understand what I was progressing in. So I'd caught up on the fundamentals. I'd pushed them back into my brain along with information on managing resources as a tank player and a more in-depth guide on how to synchronize pressure and a small pit stop on how to deal with Zarya because I've been slammed to the ground by her again and again. I swear we know not to shoot the bubble, I, I don't get it. Anyway, we went to the next set of games with me being armed with my recap and new information. It was awful. It was the worst set of games I've played in my whole time playing Overwatch. Oh, let me at the time give you an idea. Are we bad? No, I don't know. <laughs> kind of feel like it. I don't particularly know what we're doing wrong. Reversal, yeah, sure. Oh my god, don't worry. Reversal, yeah. No, that does so <laughs> A reversal on that is actually crazy, bro. We've got these frogger stats going. Yeah, expected, no reason, expected, sir. expected. Reversal, 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 reversal. <laughs> Fallen by a lot of streets. What do you mean reversal? Then Kenji was eating us up. <laughs> 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 reversal, reversal, reversal. Volatile reversal. Expected. No, it wasn't! Lost streak, volatile reversal. Expected, expected, expected. Volatile. Ah! Recalibration. Volatile lost streak. That is what we just got. Oh, my Jesus, this is an open campaign. I'm going to the slab. <laughs> so I woke up the next day a little more defeated. But still plenty optimistic. I had plenty of time. I settled down at my computer with a coffee and stared at a replay of the day before as if I was studying something important. I'd realized I was struggling with target priority still, focusing on the wrong thing at the wrong time unconsciously. So I took that into account and I played even more that day, fully aware that playing the game was the best answer to improving. It went okay, about the same as usual. Bouncing around, it just wasn't going anywhere. It's only been a few days, and I wasn't expecting it to change much during that time. But it still felt wrong. I mean, I'm throwing myself at a problem over and over, and occasionally I win. The best way to put how I feel is that I was able to win, I was able to lose. But I don't understand why I'm losing, why I'm winning. I know my fundamentals, I know what I'm meant to be doing as a tank player, to a level of course. I know how to play the characters that I'm playing to an acceptable level in my opinion. Wrecking Ball, Sigma, Arisa, a lot of the tank cast. So why does it feel like the game decides if I win and lose? Why is it so out of my control? I mean, what even wins a fight? What equals a fight win? Sign has to lead directly to the fights we win and lose beyond the situational things and mechanics. They play a part, but they can't they can't be consistent. So what are we doing wrong? Following another uneventful game session where I went nowhere, I was sitting there, doing the usual perusing of YouTube, still considering why nothing felt like an improvement, even personally when it came to the lessons I kept trying to force into my brain, when I saw a video on my homepage with only around 600 views at the time. I watched 200 Overwatch games, and this is what I learned. This video is awesome. Please go check it out if you see this. 
This video took a statistical approach to Overwatch, which really appealed to me because I'm an absolute nerd. I hate to be as nerdy as possible, but this was awesome. It highlights so many important things I wasn't really considering. This is what I was looking for. Not get better, not this is how to improve your aim. Or even just wording out the fundamentals, which is helpful, but it was clearly skipping by my, my head. This felt right. This felt like it would let me improve. This allowed me to look at what wins games and try to put that into action. This let me look at what will improve a chance of a win in a fight and form that situation. This was so, so cool. This taught me how important first picks and first ults are. I always knew how you initiate was useful, but this just put it in a way my brain can actually comprehend. Like, this is what that plan and timing for initiation's goal is. This is what allows those skills to improve the chance of winning. This was exciting. It taught me about soft resetting and how important that can be. Soft resetting is simply ensuring you wait or sometimes go back, completely giving up a fight for the next. So make sure you have five in a battle when you get first picked. I mean, it's obvious that five is important in a fight, but just think about the concept of how to properly complete that in a set statistical way made sense to me. This was it. This would help me improve. I wanted to learn. In between this and the SK video, which was just generally a nice watch, I was able to figure out how to learn and improve my soft skills of learning. I knew what I wanted to do. I was motivated. I reviewed my games. I wrote up stats. I recorded the games me and my friends played in a similar statistical way to KMK. I looked at our fight times, our first picks, who was dying first most. Did we start reset? I looked at it and we acted upon it, using it. We were still struggling sometimes. Again, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 the fucking, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we got so upset he went underwater. We still bounced around plat with reversals, uphill battles, games we should have won. We went back and forth, but I was having fun. So much fun. I was improving. I felt like I was improving. And we kept it up. I just kept going, recording stats, even looking at one or two Overwatch CS games. I mean, I'm a bit of an Overwatch esports nerd too. I was doing this at an incredible rate for me. But did it even really matter? I mean, I was having fun. I felt improved. I, I definitely improved. I had a better understanding of the game. I had better feelings about whether we'd win a fight or not. I was able to tell. But days passed and I had a better understanding about when to soft reset, when to wait, when to engage. But again, days passed. I was able to pick fights that I wanted to. We were improving upon the stats that matter to a fight. Chris's first deaths went down and I was getting more first picks, first ult. But more time went and we weren't going anywhere. In fact, I was lower than when I started. It's been weeks. I was halfway through to the end of my project. My deadline to have a multi part series done was seven weeks away. Honestly, my renovation was starting to back up. My confidence was dipping. I fell behind on the recording stats. I started playing another game, lessening the time on Overwatch. It just felt awful. I improved. I know I did, but it didn't seem to matter. I was worried. I was stressed. I started to think that maybe everyone's just not really cut out for the higher rank. Maybe this last month or so was just not worth it. Maybe it was time to give up on that dedicated goal and work on something else. I mean, I could still make a series about the struggle of plat or something, so it's fine. It'll do. I'll make something good out of it. <sighs> Who the hell am I kidding? We go again.